All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Inscription. It is somewhat a card game, but I know there's a lot more to it. It's made by the developer who made Pony Island and the Hex. And I have never played either of those games, but I know for all of them that there's kind of this, I don't want to say, there's the game and then there's like, then it goes off the off the rails. Like, there's more to it than just the, its base components. That's really all I can say. Anyway, so the demo is available now on Steam if you guys want to try this yourselves. But for now, let's dive right in. Real game's coming out, I want to say, October 23rd? October 18th? Somewhere around that week. Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Okay, continue. New game. Options, credits, quit. Options. Alright. Dialogue, text speed. Speed that up a little bit. Flicker, FX, screen shake. I'm going to turn both of those off. Those are going to be hard on my eyes. That seems fine. I'm going to turn down the sound effects a bit. Okay, and continue? Which is odd, because shouldn't it be starting a new game? Then again... I'd be surprised if it was that simple. I'm loving the pixels on this. Oh boy. Oh right, isn't there something about Baba Yaga? Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Squirrel, okay. Play the squirrel card. Squirrel, stoat, wolf, wolf. It looks like there's blood symbols. It's probably predator prey. Now play your stoat. Okay. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. An honorable death. Play the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom is its attack power. One. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat is too health less. Uh, health is too less. If a creature's health is reduced to zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Squirrel, deck. Squirrel. How dull. Screw you, I want to get a squirrel down. I wonder if I can attack. Wolf. Fear not, the beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. Huh. You may only draw a card at the beginning of your turn. Now what? I... I don't want to do that. How do I attack? Maybe I don't have a choice? Okay, it looks like it just goes autom automatically. Because you are learning, I will pass. Again, a choice of random card from your deck or the certainty of a squirrel. River Snapper. You're lacking sacrifices for that creature. I just want to see how good it is. A lot of health. Minimal damage. Okay. Three damage dealt. Three weights on the scale. Pass. Certainty of the squirrel. Get them, squirrel. No. Fight. Fight, squirrel. Wait, what? You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forge, forest approach you tentatively. 
the caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast, does not kill it. Only one may grace your paltry deck, cat. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seem willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. Okay. This almost kind of reminds me of Slay the Spire, and I know that's intentional. Which means there's got to be more to this. You are ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play, I get it. Maybe you'll help me? Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. So it's playing a wolf cub. Okay, so we gotta start with a squirrel. Uh, and we gotta kinda put it anywhere. I'm gonna put it there. Here we go. Wolf cub and there's a bat. Mind the ambitious wolf cub, it ages swiftly. Okay. We want another squirrel. Okay, it's getting that. Then we get the cat. The cat can't attack, but that's okay. The airborne bat flies over the creature to attack directly. Ooh. Ha! My bat flew right over your stoat. Okay. We need a squirrel. Now, do I want the river snapper? Okay. Yeah, we might as well. The wolf is a bit of a concern. Uh, let's see. Here's the thing. I'm going to just try putting the squirrel there. Here's a really stupid idea. Because the wolf can only kill my squirrels. So I'm just going to distract this wolf with an endless deluge of squirrels and kill him slow with the other goons. I have no idea if there's a limit to the amount of squirrels that I can conjure, but... I'm going to win with the power of it. You prevailed and trekked onwards past... The Past, or past the now bloody terrain. Probably should have bumped those up open, but that's okay. I didn't really need them. Young wolf cub. It grows into wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow. An inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Wolf cub. Pairs well with a cat. And other things. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice. One that will be lost forever. Goodbye, wolf cub. We looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. Pick me. What an honor. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the wolf cub now lives in the stoat. Okay. I love the fact that the stoat cares about this. Hello. Behold my totem, it inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Flying wolves! Ah, shit. Okay, so we've got a flying... Okay. These are things. So I've got cat, squirrel, wolf. Can I draw? Nope. I can click out of the game. That's not great. Okay, cannot draw a card on the first turn. Okay, so I want to get the squirrel down. Sack it for a cat. I'm going to put the cat there where it's kind of safe. Uh, and then we wait. 
I'm gonna take some damage here. Okay. That's a lot of weight. That's a problem. Okay, squirrel. And then break in case of emergency. Squirrel. Okay. So we're gonna do a wolf, sack the cat, and the squirrel to pop the wolf there. That way it'll kill the bat. This coyote is gonna get distracted by the squirrel, which is fine. Oh. We lose, because it's flying. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch the, me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Uh, can I... Oh. Bring it here. Now sit back down. Oh, okay, I love this. Let me explain something to you. That was one of... Uh, one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now where were we? Okay, so we get an elk. The flighty elk, it moves after attacking. Another cat. Or river snap snapper. <sighs> oh, what are these? Maybe it implies that I already have one? The elk is interesting and pretty damn, damn strong, so let's go for the elk. Now what does the campfire do? You come across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of your survivors wiping drool from their mouth. I don't have a choice. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the river snapper. I don't like it as much. The fire warmed the poor river snapper, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the river snapper away from the fire and left. Oh, maybe I should have actually done that with the cat, but now the river snapper is considerably stronger. Because yeah, making the cat more powerful would actually be kind of helpful. <laughs> He's completely insane, you see that, right? Pathetic, really. Enough. Keeps me around to watch me suffer. Okay. So we have a- oh shit, we have a grizzly. <sighs> Sorry, Stoat. Back on the board. What is this? Fledgling. Grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Well, that's kind of great, actually. It might actually be able to fight the bear. Never mind. So I'm in trouble. And there's nothing I can do. Uh... I guess I can put this squirrel down, but we're in tr yeah, we're we're done though. He needed to live. Uh I can try the river snapper. My best bet is to kind of survive it out for a turn. Wait, no, we're not dead yet. Put it down. Oh, wolf ain't gonna kill it though. Shoot. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. Because, yeah, I don't have a better sacrifice. Well, okay, let's see what happens when I lose. Let's just grab the wolf. Oops. So let's see what happens. Alas, it's time for you to perish.
I almost feel like that was something that needed to happen. Or was kind of inevitable with this. Maybe I get better with every single run, or something not. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We'll work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please choose the card to draw the cost from. Cost of two blood from the wolf. Another, I will use his power and health with the numbers. Now choose a card which we will extract the sigils. Sigil of the sprinter for the elk. I was hoping I'd get like a cat. Never did ask your name. Uh, dude. There's now but one final matter the portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. Oh shit, this is cool. Dark, but cool. So, it seems like some part of it is point-and-click adventure. Another part is roguelike deck builder. Kind of. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful, resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gather, you gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Oh, well, that's actually pretty helpful. Uh, let's see what they got. Rattler. Now let's dump a squirrel and then pop a stone. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Okay, so I have a second opossum. Uh, let's grab that. Play the squirrel. Play the possum. It'll kill the rattler. They've got another one coming. Um, draw another one of these bullfrog. What does that do? Ah, it's flying. Kills my possum. Okay, so we get the second squirrel. We dump the wolf down. Let it kill the rattler. Draw a squirrel. So it looks like I have a limited number of creatures that I can summon in a given round so that I don't refresh my deck. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Okay. So this might actually be like... Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's besides the safe. Guess I'm that one. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. ID Leap. Okay, so this is just different abilities. Bifurcated Strike. Ooh. Yeah, a number of these look like they're going to be pretty sick. Let us continue. Alright, so let's see cards. Coyote. But what did you expect for only four bones? Nefarious Rattler. Brittle creature. Once past its monstrous fangs. The unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. G grab the cockroach. You know, you're free to get up again. To keep your blood flowing. Okay, let's do that. Real quick. I'm no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me to... Uh, time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Well, we know nothing from that. We need a key. Three candles. Okay, spin that. Knife? Doesn't... Looks like I need to put something in to let the... Get the squirrel to let it go. Okay. Not much else for me to do at the moment, and... Kind of, that's fine. 
Okay, rock may get you out of a hard place. Choose one. Uh, let's go for the boulder. Feeling overburdened. Enough with a full three items you carried on. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I'll tear you to shreds. Okay, possum, squirrel, wolf. Cool. So what's he got coming? A pair of coyotes. Well, here's the thing. Coyote's not going to be able to kill the squirrel. This pot, you sure? Oh, not like I really have much of a choice. Uh, let's see. I'm going to ding. I'll take one damage. Okay, I'm going to draw from this. We have a bullfrog. Oh, um, pop that. Get the squirrel, but we what we want is the possum. So I'm going to pop squirrel there, pop bullfrog there. Stoat looks sad. Okay, bullfrog, and we're going to pop the possum so we can hit the other coyote. There we go. Grab this. Gets me the cockroach. Lacking in bones for the creature. Oh, it's four bones. I did not notice that. That is somewhat problematic. Wish I had gone for a little bit more damage there. I could have sacrificed for the wolf to do even more. So wolf cub, a raven egg. A nascent raven. It's no less conniving in its incubation. Fledgling. Grow into a more powerful creature after one turn on the board. Or me. But previous me. It's okay. I like the idea of the raven egg. So this would probably give it flying. If I want to give it a shot. Otherwise we have the wolf cub. Let's go for the wolf cub. Okay, so we can get an item. Make a creature more powerful. Or sacrifice something. I don't know what that is. Let's go for the sacrifice. Deck's a bit big. Okay, so we're going to sacrifice... The cockroach. Uh, let's see. Do we want to sacrifice the cockroach for him? He says all go. It'd make him in immortal. But I like the idea of the wolf cub. Okay, so the wolf cub is now immortal. When it dies, it comes back. What is this? Oh, probably a harder fight? Yeah. Totem. Okay, so he's got a pair of sparrows that are coming for me. Here's the thing, though. I want to get the wolf cub down. They can fly right over the boulder. Can't do much else for it. Alright. Okay, so we have a wolf. Uh, let's see, possum's not going to do a whole lot of damage. I have one bone. Hmm. If I do this, I maybe get the frog. Saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Yeah. Useful. Not immediately the most useful, though. Okay, squirrel. Pop squirrel. Oh. Sacrifice for stoat. Okay. Then we're gonna pop the possum down. And sacrifice both of them. I'm so sorry. We have a pair of wolves. We are good. Boulder is not gonna help. Do we use this? Oh, gosh. Well-earned point of damage. I didn't think you'd really do it. Okay, I take one. Uh, let's see. 
It's the bullfrog, but it's not going to help me. But it's okay, because I think I'm going to do a bunch of damage here. Alright, I've killed it. That was close. I don't know what this is. Let's find out. Blood cards. Let's make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost you wish to pay. Two, three, or bone. Let's go with three. Grizzly. Monstrous grizzly, its form speaks enough of its efficacy. A random card with a cost of three. What were you expecting? Problem is I gotta figure out how to feed these suckers. group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. Okay, so once again, it'll enhance its health. Oh, is it no way? No way. Alright, honestly, this wolf cub, we're just going to make it beefy. The health of the wolf cub was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Okay. So he's summoning a wolf cub. Let's see. I do have the wolf. I do have the possum. Pop that down. Okay, well, there's a full-on wolf. That's a problem. Uh, let's see. Grab squirrel. Okay, pop the squirrel there. Pop that there. And we're going to get the possum down so we can kill the wolf cub. There we go. Please be wolf cub. Have a look in the rule book. There's definitely a passcode scrawled in there. They were looking up the bullfrog sin sigil. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take too much damage if I do this. Total misplay. No, it's not. Okay. Then I need that. We have the wolf cub. Here's the thing. I'm going to drop the boulder in front of the wolf. What's the mole do? An empty space would be struck. A card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Oh. I see. So it's effectively a defender. Okay, we need a squirrel. Drop the squirrel. Wolf cub. There we go. All right. Pop squirrel down. Defend. Tons of damage. Give me them teeth. Guy's a lot of teeth. I don't actually know what they're useful for. Okay. The conniving raven, a blight upon the skies. The ornery porcupine. Sharp quills await those who would dare attack it. Okay, once the card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single point of damage, or my old self. Let's grab the porcupine. We need kind of cheap things to work our way up. Grab an item. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, but only for a turn. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. Or a boulder. I'm gonna grab the boulder. Powerful item. Turn this and I'll skip my next turn. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of, one of my cards with these. Shit, that's good. Okay. So I want to look here. We're looking up the bullfrog. Now this is the appendix. We're looking at this. Maybe? Or maybe it is this thing. 
I don't know which one it's going to be. Wait, no, I see. Got it. Stink bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I'd ever escape that iron crypt. Is it, is it stowed around? The sun wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. Key. Whoa. What is this? Okay. There we go. I forgot I had that, had put that there. Very well, you may add it to your deck. And I'll deal you one every so often. Okay, so this is... Kind of a... A fight. But I can't switch any of these out. It looks like. Okay. This one's stuck. So I got to do exactly five damage. These are nothing. So that. Unless it's the other way. Interesting. I don't I don't think I can do this. Because we can move both of those, but this is still stuck. And it doesn't seem like there's a way for me to alternate them. This one's locked in, and these just don't do enough damage. It's also saying only one. Which, like, at the very least, it should be four. I am unsure. Oh, well. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna just go back to the game. We'll probably get another hint. Maybe. Or we'll die. Uh-oh. My boss battles are high stakes, tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. The smoke. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal and stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Hee 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 hee! Twas the prospector. You again. Indeed, our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You gotta be. I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we're in deep this time. Okay, so what's he got? He's got a pack mule and a coyote. I don't really care too much about either of those. Um, so we have this stoat. We don't care too much about the pack mule, so I'm gonna put the stoat down. Because he can block the coyote and kill it. We also have the stink bug, but I don't have enough. And there's this. What does this do? Bone King. When a card bearing the sigil dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Oh. I should have put that down instead. Shoot. Well, not much I could have done. I, mean, I guess I could have just put it down anyway. And we'll just get to scroll the next turn and go, go Grizzly? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so if I do that, let's go with this. Get a porcupine. It's an option. What else do we have? Another wolf cub. Ah. Well, here's the thing. I put that down. And then we get the stink bug down. What is his ability? Creature opposing a card bearing this sigil 
I see. Gets weaker. Well, here's the question. Do I sacrifice everything to get a grizzly bear down to go kind of bananas? No. Maybe. Okay, there's another coyote. But here's the thing. We got the grizzly. Okay, there's a wolf. I've got the bear. We got another boulder. Oh, I should have made him made him skip a turn. That's what I should have done. Oh, not now. Draw a card first. Let's draw that. We get this skink. Skink is... What does this do? When a card bearing this sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place and card bearing this si sigil moves to the right. Oh, interesting. I don't know how useful that is going to be. It passes next turn. Grizzly bear goes ham on the mule. Oh. That's different. Dagnabbit, my mule! I'm obligated to pass. Okay, cool. Let's draw another one of these because we have a whole mess of possums. Okay, poss uh, possum down. We have the wolf, but we want to get the wolf down after. Uh, let's see. So he's going to hit me for a bit, but maybe that's fine. Otherwise, we get the... Wait, no, no, no. The mole's going to require me to kill. So let's get a possum down. At the very least, eat the, eat the hit. Oh. Oh. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. There's gold in them there cards. Oh shit. Gold nugget. I... Uh, what? What is this? Gold! I've struck gold! The uh, fudge? I uh, Maybe they're for sacrificing. I'm not sure. I'm gonna grab another one of these. Okay, so what's going on? He's got a bloodhound. Bloodhound is... An opposing creature placed opposite an empty space. Card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. What are the gold nuggets? Maybe something I just have to sacrifice. Which is good, bad. Because now I've got a bunch of things I can potentially sack. Oh, there's no room for that card. What? Wait, so I can't sack... Oh, shoot. Oh, I see. I think I just have to wait. I can't do anything. Get him! Okay, let's get a squirrel then. Okay. Let's pop the boulder. Just leave it there for the time being. Dump squirrel. Don't care. Ah, uh, let's see. And then I'm thinking we get bullfrog. Bullfrog will kill the coyote. He's got an adder. Don't care too much. Um, I'm gonna probably grab this. We're looking for the wolf cub. Though a wolf is not terrible. Yeah, so I cannot sacrifice much here. Which puts me in a bit of a spot, but that's okay. Okay. Grab another squirrel. Grab squirrel. Dog can't move. Dog's stuck there for a bit. We have the mole, we got the squirrel, we've got a skink. I'll just put the skink down. It'll kind of pay for itself. It'll... It'll kill the adder. And there's a wolf cub. Okay. He's got a wolf. Okay, let's grab this. Go squirrel. And then do I do wolf? Yeah, I'll do wolf. Burn the skink, burn the squirrel. Uh, let's see, I guess I could have kept this skink for a bit. Pop the squirrel down. Oh, well that changes things a bit. Uh, let's just get rid of it. Plop the mole just so it can tank some hits. And honestly, we're going to do some damage as part of this anyway. Unless, of course, I want to... No, 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 no. 
because I want to win. Memory card is full. What is this strange feeling? Well, I guess I won. At least for now. Da. Yeah. That's loud. Hey there, Hi. card gamers. I'm <laughs> I love this. It's a deck builder roguelike, but not. There's aspects of deck building and a bunch of other stuff. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how this turns out. It's so perfect. For a... Honestly... October 19th. Okay, I was right with the second date. Gosh, this is cool. Alright. That's exciting. I've been feeling really burnt out lately because there haven't been a whole lot of games that I'm excited for. The real answer is just, I think I just need to be patient. Can't wait. So, I will see you guys on October 19th. <laughs> All right. Oh, and even quits out of the game for me. Oh, that's fine. Anyway, yeah, like I was saying, uh, so the inscription demo is available now on Steam. You can just download it. It's about 40 minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, it depends on how many times you lose, I guess. But then the full game comes out in three weeks, and I think it'll be great. I can't wait to put some time into this. But for now, at least, uh, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because... I've got a ton of cool indie games to check out every single day, and I'm especially going to be back for more Inscription. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.